Hello. This video is going to demonstrate how to batch convert a series of DPX image sequences into Apple ProRes QuickTime using FFmpeg on a Windows 7 PC. This is part of a post-production workflow that I've been developing using Magic Lantern RAW video shot on a Canon 550D, grading in DaVinci Resolve Lite and editing with ProRes QuickTime in Adobe Premiere. For this video, we're going to skip the first series of steps of this particular post-production workflow and focus on the FFmpeg batch conversion stage, starting at a point where we already have our shots exported as DPX image sequences from DaVinci Resolve Lite. It's worth pointing out that there are a few GUI front ends available for FFmpeg, such as Another GUI and PR Helper. You may find that these apps do a fine job and meet your production needs, but I wanted to develop a workflow that allowed for the most customization possible. And for me, that's using a batch file where I have total control over all the settings. So we're going to use the MS-DOS command prompt and open off this calc spreadsheet uh, to quickly format the file paths and quickly duplicate all the uh, FFmpeg options. And then we'll copy that into TextPad and save it as a batch file. If you don't have TextPad, you can use any text editor that supports Find and Replace. So my spreadsheet is constructed to help quickly populate the data for the batch file. When you need to create your own uh, batch file, start with a batch file that just can complete and finish one job. What you want to do is break this down into information uh, sections that will be the same uh, for each job uh, in the batch file and data that is going to be shot specific. Shot specific data, for instance, is the path going all the way to the unique file name. And of course, at the end here, we'll have the file name that we output into the ProRes. In my spreadsheet, the white columns are all columns of data that is the same for each job. And the green columns are data that is shot specific. So in a moment, we're going to use the command prompt to populate this data. But if we look over here in Windows Explorer for a moment, you can see that I've got a little uh, test project directory set up. We'll be saving our batch file in here. We'll be saving our ProRes movies into here. And here are the, my DPX uh, image sequences exported from DaVinci Resolve Lite. So if we go to the parent directory that holds all of my shot directories, I can just copy this, go into the command prompt, type cd, right click and paste. Now if I type dir, you can see a list of the shot directories, but that doesn't give us quite the information we're after, which is this full path over here, all the way to the event version directory that DaVinci Resolve creates. So in the spreadsheet, I, I keep dir command uh, along with a couple extra arguments handy so that I can just right click paste and now you can see that this bottom section here is very useful because that gives us the path that we want. So we just right click mark and then drag select. We press enter to copy this information to the clipboard back in the spreadsheet. Delete, paste, accept defaults on this text import dialog and there is all of our shot directories. You can just drag this first section down because that's always going to be the same for each, each batch job, similar with this. Now for the file name, in my case the file name is the same as the directory name, uh, minus this dash gng. So back in command prompt I can do mark, just drag select this section, press enter, delete, paste again. Fill in the last bit of the file name padding. I'm going to use the same encoder settings for all my shots. Back in our test job, we're going to output our ProRes movies into this directory. So I'll just copy this, paste that to ensure that that's correct. Drag that down to fill in those the rest of those cells. Drag that down. My output movie name, I'm going to be the same as my file name. Just copy that paste it, and then finally drag this down to append ProRes 4444.mov to each of my QuickTimes. Now if I just quickly copy this, all these rows, paste them into TextPad, into a new document, you can see that we've got something that looks like our batch file, almost complete apart from these white spaces. So if we just double click that, 
to select the tab character, which is that white space, and do search, replace, and to replace that with nothing. Now we've got our completed batch file. I'm just going to save this as test ffmpeg.bat. Go to batch file and run. And you can see now that ffmpeg is going to go along and convert all of our uh, image sequences into ProRes. Okay, so while uh, ffmpeg does that, we'll grab a coffee and uh, come back in a moment. Welcome back. We've now finished our coffee and FFmpeg has finished creating our ProRes QuickTimes. If we open this up in the QuickTime player and look in the movie inspector, we can see that it is in fact Apple ProRes 4444. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, once you get this process down, it's very easy to port it over from job to job um, and it can make batch creation very quick. Good luck.